Congra- <laughs> Congratulations. You don't even need to ask a question. As a matter of fact, go, 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 because this camera is all mine. Understand that I told you so. Whenever someone says I wasn't thinking on their level, I am a master strategist. I think further than anybody else in all of WWE. I didn't just take respect, I demanded it through all the WWE universe, and I could care less if everybody's on the internet going, oh, Miz doesn't deserve it. Oh, Miz shouldn't be WWE champion. Cry! Okay. You know what? You know what? I think everybody, before we continue on with this, I think everybody right now, for, first of all, this promo is at the Elimination Chamber last night. Miz cutting a promo about... I'm the, new, I'm the new WWE champion. Oh my gosh, I planned all this crap out. Uh, y'all cry me a river. After Monday Night Raw tonight, I think we all universally, with the exception of a few, are doing that. Are doing that, wrestling fans. And we're going to dive into why today, right here on this Monday Night Raw review. But before we do, let's let's continue on with this uh, uh, promo, shall we? Go ahead and cry and keep on doing it, because that is the fuel that lights my fire. I am your WWE champion, whether you like it or not. Ten years ago, we had an angry Miz girl, and I... Trust me, we don't like it, Miz. We don't like it. Oh, and I pray that there are thousands upon thousands, millions of angry Miz girls right here, right now, sopping, weeping, wishing that Drew McIntyre was still their WWE champion. He is not. I am. So this is me saying I am now content being awesome. See you at WrestleMania. <sighs> okay. I just had to stop it right there. Yeah, wrestling fans, you know, guys, that was last night after Elimination Chamber, him winning. Woo. So, we all thought this would be the perfect place for the Miz to cash in because WWE books him very, very weak. Not making excuses. Nothing. But if they're going to have him become WWE champion, it's the only way they can do that and have it make halfway sense. Halfway sense. The Elimination Chamber. And they have Bobby Lashley help him win. Right? Now, we only went in that raw tonight. Oh, before, by the way, before I dive too far into this raw review, you all know what to do. Become a subscriber today. Hit that subscribe button down below, wrestling fans, and make sure you hit the bell for all notifications. Follow me on Facebook at Wrestling1988, or you can get to my link of wrestling with webby on my home page of youtube it is appreciated guys go back and check out anything you missed now we are monday night raw and what do we see miz pop out and true miz and john moore's sin fashion miz tv a Miz celebration, saying he's the greatest of all time, saying he he he's better than Edge, he's better than all the the Hall of Famers, he's better than everybody, he's better than Bobby Lashley, he's more calculated than everybody. He has all this planned out, right, wrestling fans? Well, then we he see Bobby Lashley come out and say that he's given him an hour and 
if he doesn't give him the WWE Championship opportunity, then he's going to pretty much rip him apart, pillar to post, and it's going to be awesome. <sighs> Clearly, they're just giving him, uh, giving Drew McIntyre the night off. Because how everything was set up and how all this played out, Drew McIntyre is coming back next week. And he's going to somehow, some way, going to interrupt that WWE championship matchup. There is no doubt in my mind Drew McIntyre gets involved in that. But we best get prepared for a WWE champion that's going to get beat up, pillar to post, week in and week out. Because that's what started, that's, that's the first thing that started this week. How did Raw go off the air? Miz laid out by Bobby Lashley. Some of you are probably saying, why are you griping? You praised Elimination Chamber last night. Let me be perfectly honest with you. The part I was really praising uh, the most was uh, Riddle becoming the United States Champion. I really could care less about Miz being WWE Champion. Could care less. Okay? I'm not saying I'm a big Drew McIntyre fan, but uh, as a as a baby face, I think he's a much better heel. But Riddle, I've been a fan of him throughout this entire beatdown that he has had to go through by the Hurt Business. So I liked him capturing the United States Championship. And honestly, I think he can put on, uh, I think he can uh, uh, help the U.S. title, and the U.S. title can help him as well, simply by the match quality and things of that nature and rivalry quality that he'll be able to have. Because... You can only take so much of the mid-card title. Uh, the guy going out there and just destroying, the champion going out there and destroying his challengers. You can only take so much of that. And that's all Bobby Lashley was doing. Okay. So it's good that Riddle has the United States Championship. And I know there's a lot of people out there, because I've listened to them, that are criticizing that. Okay? And yes, I understand. It, does, it, it doesn't make sense that he has the United States Championship when he virtually has gotten beat down week in and week out for months now. I get that. But... I, I think it's going to uh, uh, be a very good thing, him having the U.S. title right now. Now, back to The Miz. <sighs> I really wish, come uh, fast lane, His reign is done and gone. I am crossing my fingers that by fast lane, that's what happens. You know, Bad, Mo Bad Bunny or whatever his name is, uh, he has a 24-7 championship. So part of me is thinking that he's going to hold that title to WrestleMania. Can't you just see WWE doing that, holding that title to WrestleMania and having him defend the title at WrestleMania? So if that's the case, he's not fighting The Miz. 
He's not facing the Miz. Give me a break. If he holds on to that title to WrestleMania, he is not facing him. If the Miz drops the WWE title between now and WrestleMania, there you go. Miz, Morrison, you know who your opponents are. But don't see that happening now. And I see WWE going down a different road. I just wish they would get this over with because I think we all are in that agreement. Now, as far as the rest of Monday Night Raw, because honestly, you know, we had Riddle beat John Morrison. Good matchup. We had, you know, uh, AJ Styles defeat Ricochet. AJ Styles continues to just mow down everybody that he faces, except the big matches. Uh, he's pretty much in there doing jobber matches right now uh, until they pick up his uh, WrestleMania rivalry. I think we can all stamp Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon for WrestleMania. And I'm going to tell you, I'm cringing on it. Because Shane McMahon can put on a great matchup with a lot of people. And Braun Strowman can put on a, great, a good matchup with people. But it has to be with the right competitor. And I don't see them having good chemistry with each other. I, I, I don't see it. We haven't seen anything. Now, Shane McMahon has done good stuff with big men, but a lot of the uh, 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 good matches that he's done has been with the uh, 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 smaller guys. Y'all, you know what you're thinking about all this in the comments below, wrestling fans. Braun Strowman, pff, I, I, I don't know. Didn't surprise. Part of it surprised me. That he lost part of the, you know, because I would think that them putting Braun Strowman in the matchup next week would have been Miz's way out of uh, retaining. He could have came in and pinned Braun Strowman. But since he didn't get into the uh, matchup and he lost... It all points more towards Shane versus Braun. Y'all, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. I'm getting out of here, wrestling fans. There was a few other things that happened. Charlotte telling Ric Flair that he needs to see you later. And... Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax beat Asuka and Charlotte. Had uh, another women's tag team matchup. But other than that, that was about it. And what they do. Sheamus beat Jeff Hardy. Whoo! Subscribe to the channel today. Hit that bell button. Go back and check out anything you missed. Go and check out my brother's YouTube channel. The Coach Webb Podcast. A lot of great stuff goes on over there. If you like biographies and great stories and things of that nature, go and check it out. I know that I was on it. So uh, if you want to hear my story and things of that nature, go and check that out. And uh, he's had some uh, coaches and uh, uh, different type stories with people. So um Go and check it out. A lot of great stuff over there. Um, check it out and subscribe to his channel today as well. But um, until I see you again, this is Webby, and I'll catch all of you on the other side. Talk to you later.